GuitarLessons365.com Have a fun one today. Looks That Kill by Motley Crue. Uh, this has actually one of my favorite 80s era riffs. I think you know. Yeah, it's a great songs, man. Jeez. Alright, so um, it's just really catchy. So this is in uh, D standard, so every string is tuned down a whole step. So that's D, G, C, F, A, D. I'll put those notes in the description too to help you out. Uh, so we're gonna take this whole thing down, uh, note for note. And also, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do ring the little notification bell so you know when I release a new video and check out my Guitar Academy. The link is in the description. It's a GL365 Academy. I got a lot of guitar courses there to cover a lot of stuff. Got some big things happening this year, so please come and check us out. So let's start here with this uh, main riff, which has a little fill that's, that happens over it. I'll cover that too in a second. But this main one, so if you got it's in D standard here. So we had this open A string. I'm gonna call it the A string, even though we know it's a G now, but it just kind of helps me out and get through all this. So we had this, hit that a couple times with a, uh, you did A string. And then you're gonna go back and forth between this power chord, the seventh fret on the uh, A and ninth fret there. Uh, I'm sorry, seventh fret on the D, ninth fret on the G. A couple times, and then take it down two frets. And that hit it a few times in that last one, just slide that down to the fourth fret on the D and sixth fret there on the G. So it is. So there's a little fill that happens over that, which just comes in with an A power chord. And then you hear a little bend. Um, so that's kind of a bend just at this 22nd fret. You hear that too in the solo, at the very end of the solo, it kind of goes back to the riff, and then you hear that little bend in there too. So you'll hear that later on the song too. All right, so we do that riff for a while for the whole verse. And then at the end of the verse, kind of this this power chord, this one, it, that you go from the fourth fret, take it down to the third fret, and then a little bit of just bar dips. I was actually live, I see it, it kind of slide, keeps sliding into it, but I think on the recording it's an actual kind of a just a bar because it sounds smoother there. So that's kind of the pre-chorus, just hitting on that, holding on that chord. And then we have this chord, which is uh, five on the D and the G, and then six on the uh, the B string. And then we get to the really killer riff. All right, so we have this, the it's kind of a little bit of vibrato there on the second fret of the D string, then the open A. Then a little bit of a stretch here. You're gonna play the fifth fret there on the G and the second fret there on the uh, on the D. And then you pick that once, 
And then move that note on the D string up to the third fret. So we have this. So it keeps going back to the A string. So after you get that chord, back to the A, then back to this chord again. Then move up to the fourth fret there on the D while still holding that same note there on the G. So this. See, see, I keep going back and forth between the open A string. And then we end up moving all the way up to the fifth fret there on the D while still holding that note on the G. And then we go up and just basically play the fifth fret there on the uh, G, sixth fret on the B. Kind of just hit that continuously, then start the riff over. And then back to the... Just move that up two frets. On the recording, it actually sounds like... They're doing the full chord, power chord, like adding the fifth third and fifth fret there on the, the uh, D string. But uh, I don't think live he doesn't really do that. And then. All right, now at the one minute and. Uh, does that say 55 seconds? I have horrible handwriting. Uh, the one minute 55 second mark, we have a little variation uh, uh, on the chorus there that comes in. Some of those. All right, so it's kind of, it happens a few times in this song. So this is the power chord off the 12th fret of the eighth, down to 11. Then the uh, 10th fret there on the uh, D string, 12 on the G, and then the 13 on the B. Slide that down one fret. So we just. And then we kind of do the same thing again. We have the power chord off the 10th fret of the A down to 9, and then. Uh, then we play the same power chord shape we did before, but off the 7th fret of the D. Slide down to 5. So we just. And then play seven, eight power chord off the A string, and then slide, uh, do that power chord shape in the fifth fret, slide down to four. So all together. All right, now we get to the solo section, which kind of uh, sounds like this. We have. Uh, All right, so this has got kind of like a kind of pentatonic bass thing. Got a couple licks that are just kind of kind of going for it type of things, but a lot of pinch harmonics going on here too. So um, uh, we're gonna start with this kind of kind of goes to the low G power chord there at the third fret of low E, and then. All right, so that's gonna be three, two on the D, seven, six on the A, I'm sorry, seven, six on the D as well. Five, four on the G, five, six, five. And then it could be just like eight, five. It could be eight, seven, I can forget. There's a bend at the 8th fret and pull off to 5, and then we do a little trill. Alright, from there we have this. So that's a... 
spin A fret, pull off. Okay, release the band, pull off to five. And then it's a bend of the seventh on the G, release, pull off to five, and back to the seventh fret bend. So it is. All right, from there we have this. All right, so that's gonna be bend of the seventh fret on G, release, pull off to five, over to seven on the on the uh, D string. There's a lot of pinch up mods going on. And then the bend here at the fifth fret, a whole step bend there, you're gonna hold it while picking some pinch arm, uh, pinch arm on the A string. All right, and the next section. So that's back to the tw uh, seventh fret bends on the G. Release to five. Resolve it there to the uh, fifth, uh, seventh fret there on the uh, D string. And then do that again. Except now, I when you get to that seven on the D, don't stay there. Go back to the fifth fret there on the G. And this last lick is kind of one of those random. Uh... All right, so that is based off of just that A minor pentatonic. He starts it with that kind of blues lick that's been at the seventh fret, and then up to the fifth fret there on the high E, pull off, um, eight to five, and then just gotta do your favorite kind of pentatonic bass, you know, you know, that kind of erratic playing style that every player does. And then you just work your way down into either that fifth fret and then mend it up. So that's all he's doing. And then we got to And you hear that same right before the vocals come back in. So, um, so anyway, that's all the riffs. We still have the same riffs that we've gone through that happen later on, um, uh, especially that little that co little variation there that we did in the chorus. It all, that all happens a few times, but there's really nothing new to learn. It's kind of uh, repeats from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a very, very fun track to play. Um, kind of uh, like lots of Motley Crue is, of course. All right, I'll see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com.